Hey y'all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the West, more specifically, Boulder City, Nevada. And I'm outside of Tom Devlin's Monster Museum. Now, I was fortunate enough to receive an invitation from Tom Devlin himself to come and visit this Monster Museum, and I'm very, very excited. Follow me. Puppet Master X Extermination, and we did full body characters and then shrunk them down, and uh, Jeff actually played kind of a... Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, and they run around on a green screen. It was, it was awesome. Very cool. Ignited the idea to create a museum. Oh. Because who knows, five years from now, we might not see Robot Monsters on movies. Greetings, friends and fiends. It's me, the Crypt Keeper, and welcome to Tom Devlin's Monster Museum. <laughs> stuff I love for the yeah. most part. Like, I, you know, I'm obviously a fan of the classic stuff, and then there's a bunch of stuff in here that I worked on in my career, and it's all labeled, like, you know, screen used or whatever. Everybody knows the Frankenstein monster, but nobody yeah. really knows who's behind the makeup, you know. And, we got the wolf man here. Yeah. We got the... That's my creature. It's not screen used. It's, uh, <laughs> it is, uh, but it is one of my favorites. Oh, that is creepy. Eventually her head will spin. It, it's not there yet, but it'll spin on like a motion sensor. Working on getting her a spinning head. Yeah, she needs, she needs to turn her head around. <laughs> And she also needs bedposts. Her bedposts aren't there yet. She had like long <laughs> bedposts wrapped in pillows. I haven't got there yet. Who's this? That is, I was on a reality show called Face Off. Oh, you're on Face Off? On season one. Yeah. Um, and this was a character I'd, I got pretty uh, well known for. It was, and that's actually my head. He's holding your head. <laughs> yeah. But uh, his name was Teddy Told Me Too, and he was like a horror villain. Uh, Sean Cunningham, the creator of Friday the 13th, was our guest judge, and he loved it. That's awesome. Yeah, it was like, that was a cool moment, you know. That That's was very like cool. a life thing that was on the show right there. This is what I got kicked off the show for, and it was beautiful. I, I, it was all bullshit. <laughs> it was awesome. What, what did they not like about it? I don't know. I, I really don't get it. Uh, and Fangoria Magazine, which is like the number one horror magazine at the time, they used that as the pictures for their uh, for advertising the show. Really? And I was like, that's what I. So they about. used it. They used it in the advertising, but you didn't. But then they kicked but you off for, it. off for it. Okay, so these were in which Puppet Master? These were from Access Termination. Puppet Master Access Termination. The latest one. Those are from Axis Rising. Is there a Nazi werewolf there? Yeah, that's Wehrmacht. That's all stuff from Killjoy uh, 3, 4, and 5. I did all three of those films. Mega Piranha. Yeah, that's. A, I did some time at a company called The Asylum, where we pretty much created those mega movies. Oh, you I, worked for Asylum? Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. I did about Twenty movies. For them. Which ones do you work? Which ones you work on? I did. Well, all these ones up here are Freak Show, Princess of Mars, Mega Piranha. I also did Terminated, Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus. Yes, Mega Shark vs. Giant uh, Octopus. <laughs> Transmorphers Two, um, Halloween Night. I did. Uh, Oh god, the list goes on. I was there. I, I did like 20 movies for those guys. That's amazing. Super Croc, which is this super piece of shit. <laughs> it just goes on and on. Now, is this the face from the. That's from Ginger Dead Man vs. Evil Bong. And we did the same Ginger thing. Dead Man vs. Evil Bong. Yes, we did the same thing where we shrunk down the Ginger Dead Man. And that's the actual Ginger Dead Man from. Uh, that's either from Ginger Dead Man vs. Evil Bong. Yeah, or I think I reused it in Evil Bong 666 as well. And that's the Alien Bong from Evil Bong 3. Yeah, that's from Freak Show, the Asylum movie. That was probably one of my favorite. Actually, Princess of Mars with Tracy Lords 
was my favorite Asylum film because if oh, yeah? I was 12 years old, that'd be like my favorite movie. <laughs> Princess of Mars. Yeah, it's a bullshit John Carter, John Carter of Mars or whatever. Are these real Chuckies? I made them, so they're not, they weren't from the film, but they're, uh, every, they're just my, you know, I love Chucky. I did the part one alive Chucky because a lot of people forget how creepy Chucky was, because now he looks like a plastic doll. Yeah. But, uh, you know, when, once he, you know, had that alive look to him, he wasn't cute anymore. Is um, that like where he was, like when he's trying to turn? Like when he was trying to get Andy at the very beginning, yeah. he, I mean, he just had that like real rubbery face, you know, he looked, he looked nastier than he does now in the, in the more modern sequels, which I still like him. But... And Maniac main... Cop, that's like one of the most lesser known uh, slasher films, but it starred Bruce Campbell and Tom Atkins and of course Robert Zadar. I love Maniac Cop. It's one of those movies I just always was obsessed with. I've never seen that one. It's crazy. We got one of the critters up here. Yep. Alien from V. That was one of my favorite shows back in the early days. I remember it scared the crap out of my brother, and I think that's probably why I liked it. <laughs> These are from They Live. Yeah. That's cool. This is my dad, Roger. Oh. This is Jacob. Nice to meet you. Jacob, how are you? Good. We have killer clowns from outer space. Well, of course. What kind of monster <laughs> would it be if it didn't have killer clowns? Now, what I heard was that um, when they filmed Ernest Scared Stupid, they repainted they yeah, the they costumes. The brothers uh, made the goblins, uh, or trolls, whatever they called them, out of killer clowns. And they just repainted them. And we do that all the time. Really? That's why like, I was like, that's the ginger dead man from uh, bub, 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 because I'll <laughs> use it like seven times. And uh, it's so many things that I'll reuse parts and, and stuff for in, in movies. And you got Toxie. Yeah, I'm a huge trauma nut. I did Poultrygeist um, the Night of the Chicken Dead. Oh, you worked on Poultry Guys? I, I keyed it. That was my that was my deal. And what's uh, key? What's key? Key means you're the head of effects. You're the head guy. Oh. Okay. So I led a, an effects team of a bunch of people. Some that knew what they were doing, and a lot that <laughs> had no clue. On one of the craziest missions of all time, because like working with Lloyd is crazy. Working with Troma is. crazy. I, I met Lloyd briefly. I saw in one of your videos you were a Dragon Con. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, he's goofy. <laughs> There's two Lloyds, so you met Crazy Uncle Lloyd. Yeah. The true. other Lloyd is the most intelligent filmmaker. Really? I mean, he went to Yale. He was in George Bush's class. Really? Like, his wife has been the film commissioner of New York City for over 20 years. Really? He's he's the head of he's the vice president of the AFM, which is the American Film Market, which is how you sell a movie in America. So he's a different person. But you met Crazy Uncle Lloyd, who uh, goes to conventions and goes, oh, ah, yeah, ah, but uh, doesn't know how much his t-shirts are. He's, he's brilliant, and he's he's been in my corner since the beginning. I've been a fan since I was a little kid. I wouldn't even be here if it weren't for trauma. So uh, this is the Screen News General Monster and some of the set pieces. And, this is all from Poultry Guys. Yeah, Night of the Chicken Dead. I got eaten by chicken nuggets in the movie. They jumped through my face. <laughs> Chicken nuggets jumped yeah, in your face. Like, ah! and they jumped in my face. Yeah, this costume's awesome. And it was made out of like bubble gum and good thoughts because I we had no money and so much work to do. Zero budget. Oh my god, I work on low budget, but that was zero budget, and and we pulled it off. It was so fun. Used over 500 gallons of blood. We got some Ninja Turtles. Michael Myers, Freddy. So what do you use to make these figures? So they're all a little bit different. Like Freddy has a silicone head. Uh, most of them are latex. I actually prefer to work with latex mm -hmm. and polyfoam. 
Um, it's my medium of choice. And I actually think I'm going to change Freddy and make him out of latex because in, in real life he was never silicone. He just looks cool. Silicone adds like a production value. Yeah. And then like, uh, you know, some of them have to be sculpted. Like the Ninja Turtles are full body sculptures. Toxie's a full body sculpture. Yeah. But then Michael Myers, he has a mannequin under there because it doesn't need to be, yeah. you know, full body sculpture. But um, so they all, they all vary a little bit, but mostly a polyurethane and latex. <laughs> Draws a little creaky here. All right, going into the behind-the-scenes workshop. This is right here where all the magic happens. But um, I know you're a fan of Zoltars because you always. Yes. <laughs> This is a custom Zoltar. A custom uh, Zoltar? Uh, so don't. Zoltars all come from Boulder City then? All Zoltars come wow, from Boulder City. Wow, I did not know that. Zoltar, Pappy, the talking elk, <laughs> all of that you comes here. Mick like Foley and Jake Roberts. Yeah, Jake Roberts is my coach actually. I, uh, I'm i a student at the Snake Pit Pro Wrestling Academy. Oh, so you wrestle? Yeah. That's awesome. I'm, I'm no good, but I try. <laughs> but Sin Bodhi, D'Lo Brown, and Jake Roberts are my coaches. That's amazing. They bring in, like, we had... Um, we had uh, Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart there the other day. Um, Gangrel comes in and does clinics. Like, we get all the, it's awesome. I've known Sin Bodhi for years through movie work. Yeah. And uh, so once I moved to Vegas, I instantly was like, I got to be a wrestler because I've always <laughs> wanted to. And I'm terrible. I'm, I'm really bad. But I'm toxic Tom Devlin. That's my, uh, my thing. That's awesome. Yeah. Zach. Boglins. I had that when I was a kid. Actually, it like worked like a puppet. And it you does. Could, like, it's, you could use the yeah, eyes. Yeah, the eyes. I mean, that's the kind of stuff that inspired dead twins. And Charlie insisted that she had large boobies. So <laughs> that's uh, that's the ginger dead twin. Now, who voiced Did someone voice him? Gary or? Busey was Gary the Busey. original ginger dead man. You know, you always got to have a naked dude <laughs> sitting on the wall box, right? They used to be out here on the wall, but I just took them down the other night. Davy Jones. So here's everybody's absolute favorite, Pennywise. It's awesome. Your four year old daughter helped make this? Helped make this. <laughs> I have these awesome pictures of her, like knees deep in latex. And she, like, did a good job because she's helped on other stuff where it wasn't really help, it was just, like, hanging out. But this, she really did. She was applying that. Our guy Olaf, because he takes our zombies to market for us. He uh, sells them at like IAPA and, and Transworld and different uh, trade shows. We got Ash. This deer isn't going to start laughing at me, <laughs> is it? I wish. <laughs> uh, eventually. That is a really creepy deer head, though. Right? <laughs> This little hand right here was secretly used in the movie Congo. Which is terrible. <laughs> What's terrible? The hand of the movie. Both. <laughs> Jeff, was it you when the zombie head fell off? And it, the kid touches this and it fell off and there's just this gruelly zombie under it and the kid went nuts. Is he still <laughs> under there? Yeah, still... I think so. The oh no, the head's gone. The one that's in the case. Oh, it's the head that was in the in that case. But, um... <laughs> That startled me. Now here is something that is extremely rare. Not only is this a rock of fire explosion set, but they are free of their skin. You can actually see into their bodies, into their working parts. That's Mitzi Mozzarella there. You can feel her ears. And Beach Bear, got the one arm. That's his mouth. I think Duke LaRue is the name of the drummer. There's his mouth. I like how that works. Very cool. And here's their skins right here. Than good old Sid Hag. We bought this car for 200 bucks, and uh, it's a 73 Pontiac Curse. And then I didn't.
didn't know it had a broken window when we bought it. So when we got it home, I had to make this guy just stick in the window. And he, did. he just kind of does that. <laughs> fog machine going in there so that it's all spewing up there. <laughs> Huge shout out to Tom Devlin for inviting me to this amazing museum. Some very, very cool stuff here. Highly recommended if you're in the Las Vegas or Boulder City area. And I learned something new. I learned a lot of new things, but all Zoltars come from Boulder City. Pretty strange. This is this is the birthplace of my stalker, Zoltar. Anyways, I definitely appreciate you guys watching. If you'd like to see other places that I've been, please check down in the description. I have an interactive map that'll show you all the places I've been, and you can make suggestions on places you think I should go. And uh, if you want to donate at least $3 on Patreon, I'd be happy to send you postcards while I'm out and about on my journeys. So other ways to contribute as well. I saw t-shirts and all that is down in the description. And for now, this one's in the bag.